more than one person has died in a series of and quat t e r r o r i s t and quat incidents in central London which are still ongoing, police have said. Armed officers and ambulances were alerted to reports a van hit people on London Bridge shortly after 2200 hours BST. Police later went to nearby Borough Market, where they were responding to reports of stabbings in the area which is known for its restaurants and bars. Prime Minister Theresa May described the incidents as and quote dreadfully vnts and quote, the Metropolitan Police tweeted, and quote at 0025 hours 4617 the incidents at No. London Bridge and No. Borough Market were declared as terrorist incidents. And quote, Mrs. May said, and quote following updates from police and security officials, I can confirm that the terrible incident in London is being treated as a potential act of terrorism. And quote this is a fast-moving investigation. I want to express my huge gratitude to the police and emergency services who are on the scene. And quote our thoughts are with those who are caught up in these dreadful events. And quote, BBC Home Affairs correspondent Tom Simmons said a security guard who oversees a number of pubs in the London Bridge area said he saw four people stabbed by three attackers. BBC reporter Holly Jones, who was on the bridge, said a van driven by a man was and quote probably traveling at about 50 miles in HOUR and quote before it hit a number of people. And quote he swerved right round me and then hit about five or six people. He hit about two people in front of me and then three behind and quote, Ms. Jones told the BBC News Channel. Five or six people were being treated for injuries after the vehicle mounted the pavement and hit them, she said. And quote I and posed he say there are about four severely injured people. They all have paramedics assisting them at the moment. And quote, she said the van, which was traveling from the direction of central London, headed towards the south side of the river. Ms. Jones later reported seeing a man being arrested by police. She said he was handcuffed and had his shirt off. She said a French woman was among the injured. She had told said she did not know where two people who had been with her were. Speaking to the press association, Will Orton described being in a pub in the area and seeing people coming running inside. And quote we did and a post he really know what was going on and quote, he said. And quote we thought maybe there was a fight or something outside. And then there were almost hundreds of people coming inside. And quote the bouncers did a really good job, they shut the doors and locked everyone in. There was panic, it seemed like it was literally outside the door. People were coming inside and saying they had witnessed people being stabbed. And quote, Downing Street said Mrs. May, who has been campaigning in the general election, was returning to number 10 to receive further briefings from security officials. It said the Prime Minister will chair a meeting of the G-O-V-E-R-N-M-E-N-T-N-A-P-O-S-C-O-B-R-A emergency committee later. On Twitter, Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn described the incidents as and quote brutal and s-h-o-c-k-i-n-g and quote, transport for London said London Bridge has been closed in both directions, while neighbouring Southwark Bridge has also been shut. TfL said there were further closures in Borough High Street, where armed police and counter-terrorism specialist forces were later seen. On the north side of the river, Lower Thames Street was closed. Meanwhile, Facebook said it has activated its safety check, so people in London could let friends and relatives know they were safe. Police said earlier they were also responding to an incident in the Vauxhall area a few miles away but later confirmed it was not connected to the London Bridge attacks. Were you in the area? Have you seen what has happened? If you are willing to do so, share with us by emailing haveyorsa at bbc.co.uk. Please include a contact number if you are willing to speak to a BBC journalist. You can also contact us in the following ways. Text an SMS or MMS to 61124, UK, or plus 447624800100, International.